settle in and enjoy this over the next hour or so. The gold medal match at these Ainot World Beach Games. Giannotti and Hotto of France against Baran and Mila of Brazil. And it will be the Brazilian Mila leading us off. tend to notice in this format as well of mixed doubles that breaks a serve seems to happen a lot so sometimes holding a serve is a bonus but just looking at the stats and it's credit to the, the French pairing they've they broke a number of times in their three matches six out of 13 break points they won against Venezuela five out of 13 against Russia and then seven out of ten against the Brazilian pairing of Quentin Cortez. Both these sides only coming off court around about 90 minutes ago in their semi finals. Weather here, muggy night. And for the first time in the World Beach Games this week, there is actually a forecast of potential rain in nearby. Just on a play for the Brazilian pairing. Been reliably informed by. Uh, one of our Qatari technical staff who was on the gantry with me. He just showed me the uh, local weather forecast from the Ministry of the Interior and they said that there is some drops in the air. Yeah. And that's a good start from the Brazilian yeah, yeah, pair in Varan and Mila. They held serve. And they take the opening game of this gold medal match. taking part elsewhere in these World Beach Games. That's, that's coming as a conclusion this evening. We're on the smaller court today, the court number two. The uh, beach volleyball finals have taken over the, the main arena. They've been taking place elsewhere in Doha, and it's the first time they've actually played the beach volleyball at a beach this, uh, this week. They've been at a sports club for much of the week. So they're playing the finals here on the main beach tennis court. Smash from Andre Baran. Superb effort from the Brazilian. No answer from Poro, who's on serve. Well, 15. No lets. Turning a good serve in this format. Any. There's no second serves either. If you do fault, then it's automatically a point to your opponents. So an early opportunity here for the Brazilians to try and snatch any early break in this first set. As a lot of Brazilian fans are making their way into the main stand here on court number two. An excellent mob from the French pairing to get this match back to 30 all the second game. Oh. Just out. So two game points for the French pairing.
big cheer coming from Murray Hurrell. They level up, one game apiece. Baron serves. It's like a table tennis serve in a way. We've just a top spin on it from the. We off. Hello. He's always running back there. To stop the, uh, the lob that looked like he was going to stay in play. Play, but pretty close from my position. Big smash again from Giannotti, the 21 year old. And now, this French pairing. Now, two opportunities to break the Brazilian serve. Goes to a deciding point in this third game. Already an important moment early in this gold medal match. on the line well it was well saved originally from Baron and the uh, the French pen and all they can do is smile it looked close how close was it oh right on the number the Brazilians hold serve they lead by two games to one The bronze medal match, by the way, is, looks like it's going to go to a third set tiebreaker. Diana Giovanni won it 6 4 the first set. It's now 6 all, and Juan de Cortez, the Brazilian opponent, so now the four set points in that one in the second set tiebreaker. So that one is going to go all the way. Spectators are now making their way into the arena 
Ireland for this gold medal clash. Big fist bump from Perot. Hold their throw as much as possible. It's a serve will happen a lot. It's a serve coming from the Frenchman. Just over the line. Thirty forty. <laughs> Great point coming here for the big fan of the, the, the uh, scoreboard was incorrect in the arena. Caught us all off guard. And now it's gained points. Did that actually was a break point for the Brazilians. So now we're at the deciding point. High in the sky it goes. One behind the Brazilians. And they get the breaker surf. 3-1 they lead. Fletcher Giannotti was arguing that's coming, coming off the post back into court, but our umpire said no, that is not the case. So 3-1. Rafael Emila serving with a break. Ace. Great start from the 26 year old from Cordrina. So automatically a point to the French team. Beautiful drop shot from the Brazilian pair, and now they open up a three game gap. They lead this first set in this gold medal match by four games to one.
other match. The, uh, they've started the third set, 10 point tie break. And the Italians, Giovannini and Diana, are leading by four points to one. Ten points is the target for victory. And to take the bronze medal. Could be impressed on that one. I've just seen one of Diana's serves that just landed on the beach volleyball court. He did that earlier on in the, uh, in the uh, semi final. In the meantime, we're keeping an eye on the gold medal match here. And it will be held out of serving on four. Service game this for Haro. They don't want to go door break down, otherwise, they'll be all that sacrifice in this first set. In. 30 15. So break point again, two of them in fact, for the Brazilian duo of Barana Mila. And they'll only need the one. So they're a double break ahead, 5-1 in this first set. And the French pairing of Giannotti and Haro will now have it all to do as the Brazilians will be serving for this first set in this gold medal match. Two points away from taking this opening set. And in the meantime, just keeping an eye on the bronze medal match. That's our six points apiece in that third set. Tie break. And now, three set points to this Brazilian duo. Varan and Mila. And that's the opening set, done and dusted. 
to this Brazilian duo, Baran and Mila. Silver medalist yesterday in the men's doubles and women's doubles. Looking to go one better here in the mix. The halfway to victory. They've taken the opening set by six games to one. So look at that first set, it's very much one-sided to in the Brazilians' favour. Service points, they won 18 out of 23, that's excellent going in this, for, in this format. They had two chances to break the, the, uh, the French pair in, refused, didn't convert on either time. Plenty to improve on in the second set. So it will be Giannotti with the ball in hand to start us off in this second set. Second set. Get themselves on the scoreboard early on here. That's exactly what the team talk would have been at the change of ends. First set's gone. Let's get the second set going. It's still going all the way in that. That's my match. It can be a press of the score shortly in this rally. Well won by Rafael Mila. 8-7 now to Giovannini and Diana. They are still playing. I think it's just moved up to 9-8, in fact. To as match points over there to the Brazilians in the last few moments. Two quick points to the Brazilians. 9-8 match point they're on in the bronze medal match. And in fact, the Brazilian flags are waving. They've just the second won it. Vicious Font and Joanna Cortez have just won the bronze medal. I can see, you can probably see it from the top end of your screen. That's where the celebrations are happening right now. No doubt all these Brazilian fans will be coming into the, the main arena to watch this gold medal match, and it could be a good night for Brazil. And especially with two break points incoming for Baran and Mila. Too good, too good. And Rafael and Mila and Andre Baran have an early break in this second set. It was a cakewalk in the first set, taking it by six games to one. And they'll be looking for a carbon copy in the second set to get this done and dusted and take the gold medal back to Brazil. 1-0 the lead in the second set and by one set to love. So the Brazilian burning want to get down to business here. We 
we've seen a lot of this Brazilian duo over the last few days in the doubles, men's and women's. They've shown their quality throughout the last five days of competition. Both taking home a silver medal. That women's doubles final yesterday was some of the best drama I've seen, not just in, in tennis, but actually in all the sports. It was incredible drama. That had everything. Controversy, arguments, and even the lights going out as well. Let's stay there. It's important for this French pair in not for the Brazilian duo to run, start running away with this. They've got to keep him in their sights. Still have their lead. And for this French pair, they may have to resort to plan B here because plan A doesn't seem to be working. Right now, the Brazilian pair have all the answers to the questions in which Giannotti and Horo are throwing at them. We're just gonna change the balls here. Big game this for Giannotti and Horo. Double breakdown, you can only see this match going one way. So, look 30 down on the second service game for this French pair in this set. And all of a sudden, they're in big trouble. Yeah! Especially when Mila is already celebrating returns like that and they're landed in the court. It's all going the Brazilians' way. Three more break points to Barana and Mila. Hey! Save two. We need to save two more. This game. 
Giannotti and Oro have got it back to a deciding point. And this could be a big one. A hold here. They're still in the set. The Brazilians take it, 3-0. I can only see this match going one way. Big surf coming up. Brazilians get the break. A double one at that. They're halfway to victory in their second set. Three games to the good. No reply from the French pairing. Barana Mila, three love in the second set and leading by one set to love. Three love. And they have one more set for Team France. And Team Brazil. Rafael Amila serving. Double break ahead. Three love. Maybe, just maybe, the thing, semi final. Control for all. And Giannotti may have taken it out of them. Now they're beginning to force the issue. Four game points for a four love lead, and maybe one hand and a finger on the gold medal for the Brazilian pedin of Varana Mila. What a round of applause from Mila at more than half point. The return just landing on the baseline. Still three game points. Brazilian pair they might have dinner reservations here because they really are getting on with it. Four love now in this second set. No messing about. And now just two games away from the gold medal. French pairing of Giannotti and Oro with a major uphill battle. Trying something different up into the sky. We saw that yesterday with the Italians doing that in the women's doubles, trying something different, and maybe that's the only way they can try and get this Brazilian pen up score on stock. Doing it again, high into the sky once more. Clement left, I was going out. Now the rally's on. 
Oh, when your luck is in, your luck is in. Just flicks the top of the net and creeps over. this time well I think the up in the sky approach may work here for Giannotti because the Brazilians have to return right the high line into the floodlights that's indeed the case that might need to stay in play oh it's landed on the line well is that the little bit of luck that the French team need Thirty all. Well, the scoreboard's got it wrong, but the umpire has said it is thirty all. Once again, up into the sky. Well, I think this technique could work, but is it too little too late for the the French Belgian Naughty and Haro? The Brazilians are unstuck and Baran has got a mouthful of sand for his trouble. <laughs> Even his partner, Mila, is actually laughing as uh, Andre Baran wipes away the sand from his face. And most of it is all over his body. John Hatton of his of, of Katara Beach on his shirt. Game point Brazil, 40-30. Well, it's worked. It's worked, but is it too little too late? Giannotti Haro hold serve. There's still a double breakdown in this second set. 4-1 they trail, and by a set to love. So just looking at the statistics of this match so far. And it's all on the serve. Service points 174% to France is 55. And that's been the difference in this match so far. French paired in losing 17 points on their own serve compared to the Brazilians' nine. And that's been the difference. When your locks are in, your locks are in. Another day, that creeps over. He's getting popped up. I think he needs to. We did see this at the women's doubles yesterday that how quick these matches can swing. Brazilian paired in of Cortez and Mila yesterday. We're 5 2 up in the second set, already winning the first. But then all of a sudden, the Italian paired in with four games on the spin. And then went to a second set tie break so these matches can change in the blink of an eye
big moment. Big, big moment. Not soon getting points. 5 1 here. Brazilians are points away from heading to the hell, has they? It's another sport. And indeed, they are on it. One game away from winning the gold medal. And doing it in comprehensive fashion. The French pairing, nothing now to lose. They're in the last chance saloon. No more effort, no more mistakes. Nothing to play for now. That's Brazil four points away from gold. Mali Ivoro is visibly disappointed. She's done that a number of times in this match so far. Drop shots, not going over the net. But um, this has been a very much a professional performance. They knew that to get the job done, and now they're two points away from taking home gold. Now four gold medal points. victory in comprehensive fashion. <laughs> and her all has gone out. Six one, six one. Not to be for the French pairing, but for Varane and Mila. Heartbreak 24 hours ago for the pair, losing in the men's doubles and women's doubles finals respectively. But redemption, 24 hours later, they take on gold in the mixed doubles, and they do it in comprehensive fashion, a very much a professional performance. They take it, 6-1, 6-1. Celebrations for Andre Varane and Rafael Emila from their teammates, Joanna Cortez there in the stand who won bronze about 20 minutes ago to go along with the silver that her Emila picked up yesterday. Congratulations to this Brazilian pairing. A demolition job of Giannotti and Haro who take the silver. But Anamila do it in straight sets. 6-1. Six 6-1. One, six one. <laughs> 